So bad. <laughs> it is so bad. I mean, we're always low on hit points here. Interesting. Okay, at least we spotted them. Let's save. And see. Oh, there. Shala? A trivial matter. Good stuff. There's one more, I think. Oh, did I trigger that one? Nope, it's there. Yeah, you need to safe scum this place. And, as I said, we're a bit challenged because we only have minor healing left. I stand ready. Not a lot of hit points to go around. Alright, let's get some buffs. Let's get pet. Let's get that. Okay. Let's try. I always did what was right, therefore I became righteous. Does it mean whatever I do now becomes right because I am righteous? That is very philosophical of you to ask that. Right, let's see if we can. I really want to move in there. I'll make my own Get legend. Lord Mungo there so he can charge right away. Maybe actually get him in first. All according to plan. Ardbog ready with a grease. I shall not fail. Shala over there. I'm always ready. All right, let's try. I think they'll there wake up no if I move in, a right? That is, of course, until one day the challenge overcomes. Oh no! Oh, they are actually asleep. In due time, all <laughs> the <laughs> This is gonna be awesome. Okay, My we're gonna ruin their day. Absolute. That is for sure. Together we stand. All right. I stand ready. Then we start there. Get ready for banded mush. Hey. Hey. All right. Um Let's see if we can trip those two. Especially that guy. Yes, he got greased. <laughs> Perfect. I actually thought they would wake up. This is great. My god! Lord Mungo is amazing already. It's insane. Holy cow. Nice hit, Tubman. Wow, okay. This has never been so easy. Twenty three? What? Are you kidding me? They are not getting up. Oh, he tripped. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. I think they're not getting up, guys. You should have no. Run. Everyone is tripping. All right, let's just kill him. What? Attack. And that is how you deal with bandits. <laughs> I 
Everyone trip. It's like watching Pepper the Pig. Where they all fall down laughing at the end. I I have kids. <laughs> I will go this. Uh, yeah, that was some really good XP. Well, actually only 18, 22. Really? That's cheap. I think the game punished me for ruining them so so much. I'm pretty sure. Alright, I'm I'm confident now. We're gonna go kill the wolves. Well, in a while, because moving is hard when you are encumbered. I take down the mage and the rogue and they die like a nicely cooked steak. Well done, Lord Mongo. But yeah, I mean, this is exactly why I love the turn-based mod. Because you get to do those tactical... Tactical... Uh, decisions that... I mean, I never felt I had this... Control... Over the battlefield. Yeah, the mage ne needs to go down. I remember the uh, half orc being pretty badass as well. Okay, we have one group of wolves. I think we can take uh, already. Love Mungo. Nope. Wolf. I mean, he's gonna be good at level eleven. <laughs> Not before. <laughs> And he's starting... Shala is starting to deal damage now. Just wait. Just wait. We all know what the kineticist can do come time. Actually, most of the classes I've picked need time to develop. But they're getting there. Oh, the, the camp in the northwest? Do you... Really? <laughs> you want me to take that? Mr. Topman. Are you... Are you serious? Are you serious? Got a knight. Oh, damn it. He died. Yeah, the fear always got me our bug when I played uh, on hard mode with the CRPG on. This is so much more satisfying. Gotta say. I love the game the way it is here. Alright, let's um let's try without resting and then we might need to go rest before we try again. Alright, that. Save, thank you. Yeah, and especially when it's when it's CRPG, because then you have no control over it. Uh, at least if you're feared in turn-based mode, you might have a a remove fear spell that you could use. But people have gone for two rounds before you react to casting that spell. The beast before you is unusually large, and its eyes especially angry. Its menacing grin might almost be taken for a smirk. Greetings, traveler. Before you draw your weapon, I wish to say I see no reason for feuding between us. We might even be of some use to each other. Your words will not save you, monster. Good, I love fresh meat. I play on normal because I barely buff, and that fight is one of the fights that can turn evil in a dime. Yes. Buffs is so needed. So needed. Ooh. Wow. Good hits. Good hits. Alright, let's stunning fist and... Ch oh, I can't charge. Strike as one. He didn't get an attack of opportunity. I'm very happy about that. 
Oh, we have a wolf there as well. <gasps> he actually hit. <laughs> okay. Okay, he died. He died. Oh, let's try again. Let's try this again. Go for good attack. Let's see. Missed. Missed me. And we missed twice there. And he missed. At least he missed as well. Right, Mordring, let's get you in there as well. Oh, so many wolves. So many wolves. Uh, we need to blind them. I love the glitter dust. Oh, he saved. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Uh, let's grease. I know their reflex is really high, but... I mean, just one failed save could, could save us. Can't see. Let's turn this. There is good. See? One fell down. At least. Oh God. Uh, close and overcome. please two hits. Oh God. This, this should do it. Yeah, he's he's pretty hard. Very nice though. Good job, Lord Mungo. Yeah, Artbug, you can't get up. Artbug has fallen and can't get up. Come on, hit. Nice. Attack. Come on. Come on. Damn it. This was not part of the plan. Yeah, that's ah. I think I think this fight might still be too hard. Too much tripping and lack of health as well. Uh, we are level 4. Yeah. We are level 4. Let's try him one more time. Forgive me <laughs> for this failure. Mm. Uh, no. Enemy approaching. No. 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 The 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 tripping really makes it hard to do that fight. And the not hitting. That that doesn't help either. <laughs> Alright, let's travel. <laughs> Draco melted like an ice cream in the summer sun. <laughs> oh, yeah. He totally died. Really hard. Oh, wait, I forgot. Oh, damn it. There. Okay. We go back now. We sell. And then we... Do one of the companion quests. Well, to be fair, Monk is probably the weakest class till, like, level 7. Yeah, just about. So, Lord Mungo says, So, say, Tristian is walking in to this battle in full plate and going mental with his quarterstaff. Without a doubt. Oh! Oh, you respect him. Cool. Greetings. The nymph's temp tender voice comes to you softly. 
The scent of flowers and evening dew is dizzy. In this dark hour, I had not even dreamed of encountering someone in these lands who could stand against the one who blights me. But you appeared, and you brought hope along with you. With the strength of the fog fading, I am able to show the, you the way to the Stag Lord's fortress. Please, go there. Slay our enemy before he can strike another blow. I would like to get to level 5. Though, what happens after I defeat the Stag Lord? Will I ever see you again? The nymph casts her eyes down for a moment. And you would. Would like to see me again? Then yes, of course. I'll come to you once our tormentor is gone for good. I really hope to have a chance to show you the true beauty of these lands. The meadows, the flowers. You can count on me. I'll deal with the Stag Lord and his minions. No one will ever harm you anymore. Your words resonate inside my soul. Now I can see that I chose the right person, worthy to hear my pleas. The nymph leans forward and places something in your hand. Should you lose, my heart will stop with yours. But should you win, the sun shall rise once more over these lands. In its rays, in, in the dance, ring dance of blooming life, we shall meet again. I leave you a small gift, a token of hope and the reward that awaits you after all these hardships. Farewell. No. Take care. My love. Or something. That is plus two dodge against ranged attacks. Thank you. He'll take it. I will guide us. Mm. Oleg. Let me offer this to you. <laughs> 3,000 gold, guys. 3,000. Uh, price in descending order. Thank you. We'll sell the Tongi. Uh, the half plate we can actually use on... No, it's, it's heavy armor, not medium. Uh, light armor... Braces of armor. Don't really need more heavy shield. Uh, let's hang on to that one. Yeah. It's starting to look a bit more like my inventory. <laughs> As it usually is. Um, you can sell the twigs used to get into Tatooks. Oh, I can. Wait. The twigs? Where the twig at? Oh, there. Oh, 250. Merchants will definitely pay much to resell this. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now that full plate plus one is looking really good. I'll grab that. I think that's it. All right, so what I want to do is... I want to do a companion quest or two. So let's do hers. Um, do I keep her barbarian though? I think, I'm thinking no. I'm actually thinking making her into the one she will replace. So slayer, spawn slayer, coupled with barbarian in this case. I'm going to add some fighter to that mix as well later on. But that way it will fit a bit more when I replace Lord Mungo with her. Uh, what do we go for? What, what did she have? She has toughness and weapon proficiency. Oh, we need power attack. And we need... Combat trick, we need 
cleave. And then... 16 con? 14 dex? Strength. Not going anywhere near her gardens. Oh! <laughs> Jeez. Okay. I knew it was coming, but that still hurt. Aw, it's just for the one mission, though. No worries, buddy. No worries. Alright, so for now, Love Mungo goes out and she comes in. And then we'll, for instance, if we need to bring Octavia, we'll bring her instead of Artbug and make her a pure wizard as well. So we fit the companions into the slot that they're going to replace. So that it doesn't, it doesn't get too confusing to replace them. I could re-specialize them, but it's not going to matter too much with just the one. Oh, and we have a fight in 2 minutes and 40 seconds, as you can see, in the Stream Raiders. So if you want to jo join into that... <laughs> easily replaced. Oh, sorry. Sorry, buddy. Our path leads on. Oh yeah, Regengar could easily be... A sorcerer as well. We're gonna enlarge. He's gonna summon. Uh, we'll wait with the bless. Three. And she is power attacking but not cleaving. Good. Everyone counts on me. Did I shield? I didn't shield. And then the bless. There we go. So, here we are. The monster's here, and now I'll tear him apart. Yeah, just watch me. Are you scared? Whoa, whoa, who, me? A mirror blushes, then pales, then burst out laughing. Ha, <laughs> you're funny. Am I scared of some pork chop? She falls silent with a smile, shaking her head. She clears her throat. There is a custom where I'm from. A boy who kills a monster in front of the elders to prove he's a man. The barbarian clears her throat in hesitation. In our tribe, girls don't get any initiation at all. So I arranged my trial myself. Like in the song about Kagul the Orphan, I downed a cave lion in a single combat. Here, see, the scars I got in that battle. And do you know what my elders did after that? After I threw the lion skin at their feet? They invoked some formality and declared that your initiation was invalid. I wish. They laughed in my face. They said I scratched my belly myself and hired some man to kill the lion for me in trade for... Uh. Later they agreed my initiation. Of course, they had no choice, but... Amiri's voice wavers in anger. And she spits on the ground. Um, must you really slay him in single combat? It'll take our whole party to bring this Tuscada down. From a distance, Amiri examines Tuscada's muscular body and sharp tusks. Bah! You think I can't punish butcher a pig myself? Though the elders saw the beast was about to kill the boy, they would help him. There is no shame in that, but... It doesn't matter. I'm just saying. Now you stand and watch me gutting the beast. Okay, so I didn't actually know that she was okay with that. The sound of battle, actually. The battle is ready to begin. I don't think she... I have never seen her take him down solo. At all. So we'll uh, we'll uh, do the battle, and then we will go in and help Amiri. So I'm going to go out here, and as you can see, we have uh, Fenrir, we have Warfed, and we have 
Tucanus. And hopefully we can we can uh, kill these guys. I have no idea how hard this is going to be. Here we go. Ooh. Well fed. Easy. Go Fenrir. Oh, he has a bomber. So cool. Span this lad's grin to help e our raider win. What's inside? So we open the captain's chest. And one winner gets a barbarian. And I can slide this to share the gold. More for the captain or more for viewers. So everyone gets five each. Uh, and I'm going to grant the reward randomly. Well fed. Got it. Thank you. Very nice. And then we go back to the map. And... Oh, I leveled up here. A new tier. They have battle passes. And you can buy stuff. But you you get enough scrolls going, going at this. I would say. Treasure Trove. Loot a vast treasure trove with minimal defenses. That sounds good. Uh, now, I can't use my Centurion, though. Because the units go on a cooldown. So he's on a 58-minute cooldown. But I can use my Flag Bearer. Or Tank. I'll use my Tank. We'll put him over here. There we go. Cool. That is so awesome. I love it. You're such a soft-hearted hippie game knight. I would have taken it all for myself. <laughs> no, you wouldn't, Artbug. Yeah, I love that music. I it It's a really cool thing to have, I feel. Just as an extra little thing. Uh, I don't know why the overlay didn't reset. That's weird. Oh, there we go. Okay, it was there. There we, there we go. It's a fun, like, in-between um, parts of the game. We can definitely do this. I, I like it. All right, let's uh, fight Tuskutter in here. We'll get that away. There. Uh... I see. Come on. To battle. <sighs> Good luck, Amiri. <laughs> I'm going alone. Oh, it actually starts turn-based here. That's pretty cool. Uh, Shala. Oops. I want to get I want to get a grease up there. Amiri, and I control her, of course, so I'm just gonna move her back here. She she won't know. She won't know. <laughs> She's not gonna know. I mean, she did charge forward. She was, she was brave. Uh... Not good. I, I didn't actually want it to be that close to uh, Artbug. That's not good. Uh, I'm gonna have to end his turn. Alright, let's enrage. Oh, she misses. Dang it. 13? 9? Very nice. <laughs> She'll be furious, but she doesn't have anything to say exactly. It's like, well. Ow! A 21 on Ardbug. No!
It was you. <laughs> I killed Artbug. <laughs> yeah, that that doesn't that doesn't fly. That does not. That does not fly. I didn't save. I forgot to save. Shooting a crossbow in melee is a bad thing. God, I love that. I love that portrait there. So good. Jeez, Louise. All right, save. And then buff. Bless. And you, three times. Let us not hesitate. And duh, duh, duh. Attack. Here we go. Oh, and now it's raining. Whose turn is it? Oh, Wolfie. Jeez. Jeez, Louise. Well, she can't run that far away then. <laughs> Oops. The lighting, lightning strikes are really cool. All right. Ah. I spend like an hour every time I make mercenaries for new playthrough just selecting the best avatar pictures. Yeah. It's important. Hey, I didn't even get there yet. Oops. Has anybody played the material for the next Pathfinder expansion? That is a good question. That is a good question. I haven't. I, I um, haven't tried that one out. The one we're playing right now, The Curse of the Crimson Throne, is taking a while. It is taking quite a while. I think we've been playing that for three years. Give or take. This should do it. 31 sneak, dude. That is so good. Yeah, we got this now. The grease. The grease does everything. Ah, damn it. But it's a good thing we're getting Lord Mungo back. I, I already miss you. He's gonna trip, yeah. He's gonna slip in the grease. I think I think we do grease our own people a lot more as well. Oh yes, our bug. I know. It's gonna be so good. Uh, we're just gonna study and then attack. Damn it. I mean, it's still good. See, 16 damage are actually actually starting to deal damage, which I didn't think would happen this early on. Magic Missile is still a thing as well. Ooh. Good hit, Amiri. I mean, she almost killed it. Herself. Breathing heavily, Amiri stands over the corpse of the fallen monster. What would you say? See me in action? I almost chopped his head off. Cool. That's it. Trial done. Now no one dares say Amiri is weak. She grins and thrusts her chest out. Still, why do you want to kill this? No, are you hurt? Amiri snorts and examines herself closely. After a few moments, she grunts and scratches. Still, why do you want to kill this monster? 
You passed this test back when you were with your tribe, didn't you? Amiri's face reddens. Well, not just pubs must pass this test. If a man is a newcomer to a tribe, he must bring a monster's hide, prove he's not weak. Her voice trails off, then falls silent. I I'm honored that you consider me a part of your tribe. You're a strong and valiant warrior. Just don't stop this, that. T Amir stops, trying to choose the right words. Don't talk to me about honor and valor. I know already. She frowns and turns away. Still, I owe you thanks. You have a true chieftain's heart. You know what? If we meet another monster like this, I'll kill it too. Not just for a test. Just... Just that nobody would ever dare say Amiri isn't a warrior. You're actually a slayer, not a warrior. Same, same, but different, I guess. Oops. Oopsies. I can't remember. Yeah, there's a corpse. Want to find traps. And honey. You get honey. Man, this this weather. This weather is off. There we go. That was good. Oh yeah, we need to talk to uh, Kirsten Gares. Fight. And we need to get Lord Mungo back in our fold. Uh, shield? Maybe just have it like that. Yeah. And that one as well. Time's not waiting. Hello? Ah! Bandito. This will hurt. Shoot them. Nope. Charge them. Very nice. And Draco Blade. Look at that charge range. <laughs> she screamed. Ah! Very good. The, the wolf actually does stuff? How curious. How curious indeed. Lovely. Lovely. They'll think twice before attacking us again, I guess. So the Lord Mongo build I have figured out. Uh, it's going to be a combination of two-handed fighter and slayer. And we're going to use a lot of feats on him. Alright, deal. Wait, I forgot to put on the freaking full plate. <laughs> Way to go. Full plate plus one, and Amiri gets leather? No. Gets nothing. He could get that. That's plus six. He has plus five. It's one less right now. Uh, Tuscata is dead. Oleg looks at the bloodstained boar's head with respect touching its tusk with his finger to test how sharp it is. That is one heck of a beast. I'd love to have a trophy like that, but a deal is a deal. The head goes to old Benson and his bounty goes to you. 400 gold. Nice. Very nice. Uh, I think we need to buy some more potions here. Cure light. I think the cure moderate are way too expensive. Way too expensive. 
You should put all the coins and Narissa things in the chest. Ah, good plan. See, that's why I need you. You guys. Because we have all these. That one. And these. The rest of the coins. Uh, the books. And these I think I could sell. Right? I don't think we're going to need them. There we go. That helps. Thank you, Artbug. And all the food? Don't I need it for buffs? Hey, Norgna! Oh, I didn't recognize because your name is actually blue, like Artbugs. Cool. Hello, buddy. I do ha I do have recipes. I do, I do. I do. Not a lot, but I do. Have some. Okay. Let's bring let's bring the party. We need to bring We need to bring Lord Mungo before he cries. Don't don't cry, buddy. I got you. I got you. I did a stupid thing, got a lawful neutral witch druid build and just crossed into the lawful good, so I can't level up. <laughs> Oops, Lord Mungo. Yeah, don't do that. Don't don't do that. Um I'm uncertain what is over there. But I guess we'll find out. Let's go there. What a grand, glorious innocence. You have one recipe and that's good enough to keep 40 different food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's my logic. That's definitely my logic. Remember to join the battle, guys. Norkna especially. Join in. It's fun. Exclamation mark battle in, uh, in chat. Better than starving, exactly, exactly. Okay, so I, this might be a bit too hard, but we'll see. Alright, save. And we have some beasts that have been eaten by... That one. A manticore. Jeez. <laughs> that actually scared me. So what? Yeah, he's he's a sixth level magical beast. Oh, that looks so good. I mean, I, I think the models already are really good, but they're just going to be even better in Wrath of the Righteous. Uh, let's see if we can do that. No. I mean, his reflex is plus nine. Plus nine. That's insane. I mean, he could he could fail still. Okay. Lord Mungo. That's a miss. Only... Uh, I'm on class 24. Ooh, nice. Ow. Oh, holy cow. That actually hurt. Ow. Uh, engine updates. It seems like they're gonna be using the Unreal Engine ordeal. Not, uh... Not the Unity engine. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Shoot it. Oh, nice. Oh, very nice, Tubman. Very nice indeed. Damn it, Wolf. 
it's a massive change. Like the screenshots, you can you can really see how much better the models look as well. I mean, this is good, but it's going to be even better. I think it's going to be pretty incredible. Oh, I didn't need him to miss. I did not need him to miss. Hold on. We can smite. Where's my smite? There. This will hurt. <sighs> oh, that was so close. At least they didn't die, so Attack. I think I think we can handle it. Unle unless we miss. Let's try this way. Oh, Tupman. 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 Wolf. No. Our bug. Our bug. You can do it. You. Um. It's 46 points of damage, right? And this is less. <laughs> Much less. Uh, change it to acid, maybe? No cold. Nine damage. It, it was because of the reflex saving throws. It actually hurt. That looks so cool. He got frozen. Ah. I placed a warrior. Art bug, yay! <laughs> you won't get hacked. No. Not not from placing a warrior in in that game. I don't I sincerely don't think so. I I I trust. I trust them. Yeah, it, it's... So, uh, they said that they were gonna go with the Unreal Engine. Going away from... Going away from Unity is really rough, because they need to rewrite everything. They are not using a single bit of the code from Pathfinder Kingmaker at all. I think they, they reckon they can do more within the the unreal engine maybe i i don't know it's total different programming language i know that's what they've said and it it does look better than unity but i mean what they managed to do with the unity engine here is impressive everything Everything will be rewritten, rewritten, rewritten. Was my my thought. Uh, dexterity is going to go to you. There we go. I'm half hyped because it will be shiny, but it means we get all the bugs again at launch. Yeah, damn. It's something, it's something they know, and it's something that they've stated that they will spend more time crushing the bugs before they release. So it's something they are really much aware of, because it, it did give the game pretty bad uh, publicity at the beginning, which I hope they will avoid. Yeah, they need to, yeah, they need to make it easy to mod as well. We walked across the heath for a long time, yet no sight sprang upon a, upon, up before our eyes. By turns, we discovered a verdant lowlife, with, lowland, sorry, low, verdant lowlife? How would that even work? Damn. With several nearabout springs streaming down behind another hillside, and then in the distance in the center of the lowland among the bushes, there stood a single dry tree, a true giant. Its magnificent outline resembled an animal's paw clawing at the sky. 
But what was truly remarkable, the flat landscape w was dotted by mysterious dark humps. They were piled about the height of a man and scattered around in abundance. Uh, we determined that we should explore the lowland. The further we trekked, the softer the land became. Step by step, heath, grass gave way to moss, low growing shrubs and ferns, and then slushy puddles of stinky swamp water. The muddy ground sucked our feet, and soon our party was jumping from hashock to hashock. Finally, we reached the first group of mysterious humps and learned that there were no mere hills, but dugout dwellings. We moved with great care towards the center of the lowlands, and there the real swamp began. On the way towards the mysterious giant tree, we saw the foggy outline of another hut, this one much bigger and surrounded by small clay statues. I agree, Artbug. Their dedication to Pathfinder Kingmaker was incredible, and, and still is. They recently just patched Kingmaker again. Um, so it they have a really good reputation now with with the player base that is so if they can make a better game that has less bugs they'll also capture some of the ones that held off on buying kingmaker uh today yes recently like today lord mungo <laughs> earlier today they patched the game Standing one behind another and tied together with a rope, we continued our journey. We walked slowly, carefully choosing our way, keeping to drier ground as much as possible. But the few t uh, further we went, the more difficult it became, and soon we were wading waist-deep through the cattails. Frog cro frogs croaked loudly as we pe peered anxiously into the cloudy water, struggling to make out what was shadows fitting along the bottom. We often stumbled and lost our balance, but our trusty rope and the aid of friends saved us from being lost to the bog. We had a rope. Good thing. Uh, they won't move to Pathfinder 2 rules, but they might, they might combine some of the rule sets from Pathfinder 2 and Pathfinder 1. That's what they've said, anyway. And we're also gonna have, we're also gonna have uh, mythic levels, so it's a combination of the two books of Wrath of the Righteous. It's gonna be very, very interesting. Yes, I'm, I'm so psyched. So fourth of February, uh, Orndale and Norgna, the um, Kickstarter is coming. So 4th of February, put that in your, in your calendar at, I think it's 4 your time, Orndale, 4 p.m. The insatiable bog gurgled hungrily after us, but we didn't look back. Sudden and wary, we finally made it back to solid ground, and a palace of sorts rose before our eyes. A spacious hut made of mud like the rest, but decorated with pebbles, bones, cattails, bites, and snail shells. In front of um, the palace was a wide, shallow reservoir. Its green water reflected the leaves of huge ferns and primitive clay figurines. The buzzing gnats were nearly deafening. We were not far from the center of the swamp, and a firm, steady path led there through the thick bushes. At its end, the tall dry tree stretched mightily upwards, clawing at the firmament. firmament. Oh yes, they are. They are kickstarting it. I'm so happy that they are. Because that maybe, just maybe, one of the goals could be turn-based. I'm, I'm crossing my fingers, okay? I'm hoping for the uh, impossible. Maybe, but I'm, I'm really hoping. But maybe not. We carefully examined the clay figurines, trying to fathom who they might portray. Google eyes, flat head with no necks, ears or chins, ugly long legs, unnaturally bent. These sculptures 
could only be the work of boggarts. Primitive, cruel boggarts, tribes had inhabited the swamps of Garund and Avistan since the olden days. Pitiless to others and to each other, they were led by the darker instincts of their insane priest kings. They are known to grow young fry in the pools inside of houses. We peeked inside. The palace was twice the height of other huts, and its entrance was wide enough that three could walk abreast. The walls were decorated, an unknown builder had scratched drawings in the clay while it was still wet. The faded scroll depicted huge amphibians devouring smaller figures, some frog-headed, others not. Three of the four rooms boasted large holes filled with water, just like the other dwellings, though here there were steps descending into them, cut into the dirt. In the first furthest room we found equipment decorating the walls, leather rama spears, clubs. To our surprise, a number of items were so well preserved. The hut was clearly deserted, so we felt no shame in taking some of it with us. Cool. Um. <laughs> Thank you, Norgner. Thank you, buddy. I'm, I'm still, I'm still making sure that I'll mention it to them every Every chance I get, but we'll see. We moved forward, seeing we drew near to our goal. It was ever so lovely to walk once again along the well-trodden path. Our soaked clothes, clothes imagined being dry, and our mood was once lifted. We'll begin it shortly after this, after this uh, segment here. The bushes that bordered the path seemed to wave at us amiably amiably maybe with their juicy green leaves and shiny bright red berries like amiably um welcomingly right a fresh wind puffed away the rotten smell and finally felt like the swamp might be nearly behind us but then the wind stopped blowing and the thorny branches just uh, continued to move and we heard a loud shout shout Draco Blade, who was watching our rear, pointed us to a surging, crawling wall of green filling the path behind us. The surrounding thicket was coming to life. Its branches reached out with a soft, swistling sound. Drops of sap oozed from their thorns, gleaming in the emerald dusk. The path was disappearing. There was no way back, and the clear space ahead was closing. Well then. We ran forward as fast as our legs could carry us, flying towards the closing passage. Oof. I will in a moment, in a moment, Wolfette. As any experienced traveler can tell you, sometimes you walk and sometimes you run. The branches snatched at our feet, backpacks and clothes, and the spouts tangled at our feet. But we slipped their grasp. We were too quick. Let's do it now. Ooh, Warfed, that is cool. Epic Berserker, look at that. Here we go. Warfed at the front. Aw, that was easy. Warfed killed. One viewer gets Musketeer. Arbug, congrats. Oh, I should have split. Oh, damn it. I thought it saved the split. Sorry. Sorry. Nice. All right. I doubt we can take the third one, but we'll we'll try it on Wednesday when I stream again. I'll uh, I'll put more of these up. Cool. Yeah, Warfed, you, you did that one. You did that one. It's fairly easy, but we had we had a huge party there. I thought it would spawn more enemies in that one. Finally, after what seemed to be an endless trek, we came upon the gigantic dry tree that had so intrigued us from the beginning. Lo and behold, we saw an idol cut in its trunk, a huge horned three-eyed toad. Its googly eyes made it look both cruel and dumb, almost idiotic. 
its muscle hang half open, sharp tooth with several hanging tongues. Deep brown streaks ooze from the corners of its mouth. Mm, we tried to glean what sort of idol this might be. Oh, he failed. Sadly, we failed. The idol reeked of evil, to say the least. We were certain we must destroy it. Clearly, we could not leave such obscenity unscathed. We drew our swords and slashed the wooden tree face, and from it oozed black sticky blood. We heard a great clap of thunder and a thick fog arose from nowhere. The birds screamed furiously. More thunder soon followed, and with each strike the sky grew darker and darker. Soon we couldn't see the sun through the fog. The air shuddered again, but it was a still thunder, or the creaky voice of a monstrous toad. Still, our iron blades dug deep into the blood-soaked wood, and last the idol was smashed into splinters. The fog cleared away and silence descended. Suddenly we realized that every frog in the swamp had gone quiet. We almost turned with a sigh of relief, and saw that the flesh-eating bush had withered away. Satisfied with the job well done, we returned to where we'd come from. Cool. Uh, I can start it, but I won't be able to finish it uh, until tomorrow. I can, I can definitely start it. So, uh, go in there and put in your soldiers, and tomorrow morning I will make the battle start. There we go. Because I have to go to sleep. It's uh, past midnight. And it's past my, past my bedtime. I need to get up in five hours and go to work. So, yeah. I, I wish I could continue, like, hours. On Wednesday, I'm going to be playing for four hours from 8 p.m. So, hopefully, you guys will join me there. I really, really love this. Yeah, five hours. Hey, it's normal. It's normal. It's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm good. But yeah, get your units in, guys, and uh, I'll I'll start it up tomorrow so we can continue it. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming, guys. Love you all. Thank you. I'll see you on Wednesday. Have a wonderful game night.